Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Mark Chalmers from Energy Fuels. How are you today, Mark? I'm excellent, Tracy. How are you? You just basically shipped your first commercial uh, shipment of rare earths uh, to Neo Performance today. Is that correct? That's correct. So, yeah, we're very excited about that, Tracy. And, and you know, you certainly know, uh, you know, how we've been progressing over the last year plus, but uh, we've been progressing very quickly. Uh, you've exceeded all of our expectations. And for all of us Americans out there who are very motivated by the issues of sustainability, tell me how this changes the rare earth supply chain and, and offers a new, basically, you're, you're providing a supply chain for rare earths. Tell us more about this. Yeah. Well, um, Tracy, as you know, I mean, you know, we, we, we started focusing on this a little over a year ago. And, 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 and one of the differentiators were or are um, that we're focused on what we call, I call the monocyte plant and, and the monocyte sands in particular um, for obvious reasons that we've got the very high grades of the monocyte sands, you know, 50% plus total rare earths. You've got the excellent distributions of lights and heavies um, and, uh, you know, the, the, the shakeout of the economics uh, we think are more compelling and, and more competitive than in any other source of rare earth feed that we know of in the world. So, you know, our plan is very focused. Um, it's utilizing the existing infrastructure. You know, we think the cost structures are gonna be very, very attractive. And, uh, you know, we're trying to make a big splash here. Your news release, very well done. I urge everybody to read it. In your quote, you say, today energy fuels and NEO took significant steps towards restoring critical U.S. and European rare earth supply chains. So again, I just want to congratulate you. Um, but let's dumb it down for everybody out there trying to understand the rare earth industry. How does this make you compare, for instance, with Linus? Well, look, um, you know, there, Linus is, is, is mining monocyte, it's not monocyte sands. And um, so, you know, it's a slightly different um, model, um, but, you know, they obviously uh, are focusing on monocyte because of very reasons we're focusing on it. Um, the difference is we're not mining. Um, you know, we're actually just replicating the China plant, you know, when it comes to monocyte sands. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a slightly different take on the theme. Um, but I think it is recognition that, you know, the, the, the value of reestablishing um, monocyte into the mix uh, for low cost rare earth production. And, um, but yeah, look at our, 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 our goal is to, you know, continue to climb this ladder uh, and show that we can be, a, a, you know, a material world producer of rare earth products, uh, but based in the United States of America. So just let me confirm, you're basically taking the monazite and you're extracting the rare earth carbonate from it. Is that correct? Well, what we're doing is we're taking the monazite sands, we're cracking and leaching it, we're extracting the uranium and the radionuclides, and we basically make a concentrate that is, is um, uranium thorium free. And then that material, because there is no commercial separation capabilities in the United States, in order to continue the process, it has to go somewhere. That's where NEO and SILMEC come into play. So it then will go to uh, Estonia, um, where it'll be separated uh, into the light rare earths um, and, um, and also scalping off um, the heavy uh, because uh, NEO is a, is a light rare earth plant. It doesn't actually handle the heavies. So, uh, you know, what we're doing is we're bolting together capabilities from a few companies, starting with Kimors, uh, with existing infrastructure, extens uh, existing production capabilities and expertise. And we're marching these rare earths through these steps, uh, through the collaborations that we have. And so we wouldn't be able to go to Europe with separated products if it wasn't for our, our uh, relationship and agreements with, with NEO. Um, I would think that everyone should have their eyes on energy fuels. Can you tell me how profitable uh, this is and give us some scintillating numbers perhaps for shareholders out there so that they're all looking your way, Mark? Yeah, look, um, 
in these early days, uh, as as we're ramping up the production of carbonate, um, you know, it is you know relatively it's commercial quantities, but it's small commercial quantities. Um, it's approximately break even in the very early days. But when you look at um, it over time, um, as we build up the quantities, uh, we build up the capabilities to add at least some level of separation in the United States. You know, we believe that this could be, you know, anywhere between, you know, $100 million a year of revenue to say a half a billion dollars a year of revenue at very compelling margins. I'm not going to get into the details of margins, but I'll just say margins that fully justify the investment and additional integration steps at the mill. Okay, so um, it, it's, um, it, it's, it's very compelling. Uh, we believe we can do this on our own, uh, you know, with support of investors, um, and we can we can we can make the the relatively modest investments to to be able to ramp this thing up uh, quite easily, you know, with or without the government support. We think we can do it without government support uh, with the strong prices for rare earth products at this point in time. Well, once again, congratulations on announcing your contract signing with Neo Performance today and the launch of your commercial shipments of rare earth products to Europe. Uh, thanks again uh, for joining us, Mark. Thank you, Tracy. I look forward to our next catch up.